Hey guys, uh, Matt and Pam here with Hungry Yes, coming to you with a uh, one of our favorite side dishes. Um, and this goes great with uh, any kind of diet that you're on, whether it's paleo or keto or whatever you're doing. Um, we like it because ultimately it gives us uh, lots of uh, lots of vegetables, high fiber. Um, uh, it's a vegetable that's really rich in nutrients. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Now, if you'd have told us that like even just a year or two years ago that we'd eat Brussels sprouts as much as we do, we'd have told you that you're crazy. But uh, Pam came up with a way to make them really, really tasty and we've always been experimenting with them, uh, making them better and better. And so we just want to show you how we make them. This one's going to end up with a cheesy sauce uh, on top of it and uh, that'll be kind of a, the second part of the video. But um, most of it's prepped. If uh, Pam, you want to come in and kind of zoom in. Uh, don't mind the dogs in the background growling at each other. <laughs> Uh, but basically all we do is we cut the little stubby end off of the Brussels sprout and then some of the leaves kind of fall off a little bit, that's okay. And then chop them in half. <clears throat> so we saved a couple here at the end to show you. So let's chop them in half and that's pretty much it. We just get a nice sized bowl and that's gonna you know feed us all for tonight, maybe a little bit of leftovers. We also do uh, one whole onion, uh, one whole white onion is uh, chopped up into pretty small pieces. And then this is about six pieces of bacon that we'll chop up also. So <clears throat> we like to do, you can use whatever kind of oil you want. We actually use bacon grease and um, to get everything going. So I'm gonna put pretty good two or three spoonfuls in there. And like I said, if you, if you have a problem with animal lard or bacon grease, you know, you can use whatever you want, avocado oil, olive oil, uh, whatever kind of healthy oil that you're into. Uh, <clears throat> we're on the ketogenic diet, so we don't mind there being a lot of fat in there. Actually, we, you know, we want that. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna start with is putting those onions in there first. And there's really no need, you can if you want to, but there's really no need to let the onions go on their own for a while. Uh, because everything that's going to go in here, the Brussels sprouts also, they need some time in here as well. So everything's going to need plenty of time in the pot. So don't worry about, you know, browning the onions first or anything like that. So we got that in there. Got the bacon in there. The Brussels sprouts. And then here's where you can go with whatever seasonings you want. Okay, we are partial to black pepper and garlic pepper. We find that with the onion and the bacon, you don't need a whole lot more than that in there, but you can go crazy with whatever. So I don't measure it out, just healthy amount of sprinkles, a little bit of pepper or additional pepper. And that's gonna be it. Okay, so here in a second we'll cut away and video will continue in a minute uh, showing you what the what everything looks like in the pot once it's done. And we're probably gonna go, you just keep checking it, keep it on low, and it basically steams. Uh, it steams itself pretty much like a uh, uh, cabbage. And um, <laughs> we'll get to where they're not mushy, uh, but they're definitely not, you know, raw, crunchy anymore. So kind of a, just a, it's probably going to be about 10 minutes-ish. We've never really timed it before. We'll probably time it on this so that when we come back, we'll tell you exactly how long. So um, that's pretty much all the prep. Super easy. And uh, we'll be back in just a second. We'll show you how this looks uh, after however much time and show you how we do the cheesy sauce. All right guys, so we're making the cheesy sauce that's gonna go on there, and this is, we love it, because again, we're on the ketogenic diet, and this is gonna be really, really high fat. So we're gonna start in the pan, we're melting, um, and please don't mind the dogs in the background. Uh, we're melting one cup of butter, and that's just about done. So then what I'm gonna add in is one and a half cups of heavy cream. And this is ba this sauce that we're making is really just a version of a an Alfredo sauce. If you have some better recipe that you want to use, that's fine too. But so one cup of butter, one and a half cups of cream, and this if you pay if you take a look real low, this heat is really really low. Okay, you don't want it to scald or you know stick to the pan or anything like that. So we get 
it's not smooth. And then what we've got here is half a cup of Parmesan and about, about three quarters of a cup of uh, Romano cheese. So let me get that in there, these two cheeses in there. sure we're about as low as we can get. Okay, and you're just gonna keep stirring until everything is melted. Salt and pepper to taste. So we like to be a little bit garlicky. So we've got a garlic salt that we're gonna put in there. And I'm just gonna start with about a dozen sprinkles into it and again as this thing is going you can just taste it along the way and add however much more you want I'm a huge fan of pepper I like my stuff pretty peppery more so than the rest of the house so since I'm making it I put in more than than they would but this will thicken a little bit because the cream that we put in there will help thicken it and the cheese even though it's melted it'll thicken also but come take a look at this you can already see that this is going to be pretty delicious especially spread over so we'll basically just keep stirring this for a little bit for a few minutes so let's we know it's thoroughly done and then i'll turn the heat off put the lid on and uh and it'll just stay warm if you have to reheat a little bit that's fine but it'll just stay warm and ultimately we're just going to pour it right over the top of the brussels sprouts which should be done in just a few minutes so we'll see you shortly to show you everything finished all right so to wrap everything up uh it took about 20 minutes we thought eight or ten and the reality is that we set everything in the pot we set the temperature right and then we go do other things we come back every so often and check it so this time we were doing other things, but we watched the clock the entire time and come to find out that about 20 minutes is perfect, okay? Um, but it lets you get it going and then you can go off and do other things. So what you're looking for here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off because we are done. But Pam, if you zoom in here and just take a look, all you're looking for is, again, you don't want them mushy so much that they fall apart. You're just looking for, you can stab it and it's not super crunchy anymore, but it's not just falling apart uh, mushy either. So you're just looking for an easy stab, but it still kind of holds its form mostly. Uh, the onions are done and it's seasoned, you know, pretty much to taste. Like I said before, and I showed you, we did uh, pepper and garlic pepper. And then uh, the cheesy sauce is also ready. And that's really nothing more than getting everything melted together. And then uh, there's actually two ways you could do this. If you wanted to, you could pour the cream into uh, the Brussels sprout uh, combo. That's not how we do it. What we actually do is we, you know, make our whole plate. Tonight we're having uh, this as a side to leftover chicken fried steak. But um, you basically make your plate, get your pile of Brussels sprouts on there, and then just with a ladle, just ladle however much cheesy sauce you want onto the Brussels sprouts. So that's pretty much how we do it. It's not too complicated. It doesn't take very long. And uh, hope you enjoy it.